Hello everyone. Welcome to another SOLIDWORKS session. This is Nishan. You are watching CATCAM tutorial. Today I am going to walk you through the coloring of assembly drawing in details. Watch till the end not to miss anything. Coloring assembly drawing is really vital to distinguish one part from the other. I have created one drawing file here. Let's see how we can do that. Number one, easiest method, select the drawing and click on shaded with edges or shaded mod in this way style. Then you can easily get the part and assembly color into the drawing. But this is not considered as the correct way of doing this. We can color the wireframe mods using component line font options. This is a continuation of layers tutorial. I have added the link of the video if you haven't seen it yet. You can access component line font command by right clicking on the part that you want to apply the color to and the select component line font. Next uncheck document default to gain access to layer settings. From this layer settings you can apply this color to the part of all the views or you can apply the color only to that particular view. I will select from selection and here I have created few layers. You can watch the other video to how to see how they are created. Now I will select green and click OK. You can see the color of the part is changed. You can select the part from the drawing view or you can select the part from the feature tree. I will select the part from the feature tree. And right click and again you can access component line font. Similar same way you can uncheck document default and I will select all views and apply blue color click OK. You can see the blue color is applied all the part part of the part of all the views. How can we color whole assembly drawing at once? You can simply right click the assembly on the feature tree and then select component line font. Uncheck document default and I will select from selection and from the layers I will add red color and click OK. Now you can see the whole assembly has one single color. So the component line font does not rely on the color assigned in actual part modeling. It is independent from the part and assembly color. And this is the second method. I will undo what I did. And this is, this is the quickest way of applying the part and assembly color into the drawing. We can use the option go to document properties and click on detailing and from this option select use model color for hidden line remove and hidden line visible in drawings. When I select this one and click OK, you can see all the colors that are in the part and assembly mode are reflected in the drawing view. And if I apply component line font again to the one of the view, I will right click on the tank and go to component line font. And from selection, I will select a layer. Oops, I have un undo the uh, layers. I the layers I created before, so I will create one more layer now. I will apply this color. I will make it red and click OK. I will change the name. 
red color click ok now go to the tank assembly and right click and click on component line font and uncheck document settings and select from from the layer setting click on from selection and from the layers select red color and click ok now the view color has become red color so remember the component line font override the part and assembly color i think this is clear for you now you know exactly how we can apply part and assembly colors to the drawing number one you can use shaded or shaded with edges mode number two you can use component line font number three you can use the option document properties detailing use model color for hidden line removed and hidden line visible that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if you love my video please hit like click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss another one thank you everyone for watching